Hello everyone and welcome to the Gunning Galley for the second half of the Burning Shadows booster box opening. Now we noticed a kind of pattern with Ho-Oh, uh, at least uh, in the first half, and it seems like it's a little more... It's actually the same a little bit, uh, except the, it starts differently. So we have uh, each artwork um, kind of following each other. So Necrozma, Mars Shadow, Ho-Oh, and then Tapu Fini, and then Necrozma. So it's kind of cool to notice that kind of pattern. I know it's not like that special, but something to keep in mind a little bit. There weren't any particular patterns in the first half of this video that I could follow. So it seems like Nintendo listened to all the to listen to the people uh, because there were a lot of concerns when the uh, when Sun and Moon base set came out because they every box was mapped and that just wasn't a good time. So, anyways, here we go. We continue on with this second half of this opening. The first half, if you haven't watched it, I recommend you take a gander. There were some pretty good pulls in there, so hopefully the luck can continue on with this second. Half Cedra Reverse Hollow is a Buffalant by Tokia. That is my favorite illustrator. You should keep that in mind. And the rare is oh yeah, oh yeah. That's right. It's a Dark Ride GX. This is a great card in the TCG. And I'm gonna take a read. I'm gonna put it actually in its sleeve first. I don't have a Dark Ride GX yet, so that is very cool indeed. Okay, so Dark Ride GX, uh, restoration once during your turn before you attack. If this Pokemon is in your discard pile, you may put it into your bench and then attach a Dark Energy from your discard pile to this Pokemon. Hello, that's amazing. Then Dark Cleave, this attack isn't affected by resistance. That's ridiculous. And then Dark and GX, remember you can only use one of these per game. If your opponent's active Pokemon is affected by a special condition, it's knocked out. So I can really imagine uh, setting this up with... Sal uh, Salazzle and uh, causing some real havoc. All right, so here we go. Marsh Shadow is next. And I just had a random thought. So I watched a movie last night with my dearest Gardevoir. And what did we watch? We watched a movie who, which whose name kind of escapes me. Uh, it was called The Boy and the Beast or something like that. And it was uh, an anime by the same guy who wrote... He wrote a great film, which um, spirited away, and I really liked it. So I would recommend you uh, check out that movie, because it kind of has a unique plot to it. The Boy and the Beast, or something of this sort. Guzma, going to keep that aside. Whirlipede, Simi Sage, Wabafet, and the rare. No way, another GX card. Holy smokes, it's an Alolan Mux. G uh, Alolan Mux? <laughs> Alolan Mux GX come in to say hello now interesting because the opening of the last video that you may have noticed if you're coming over thank you for doing so but the first two cards were uh they had white coat cards so i'm gonna keep a close eye because i'm trying to find out if there are any patterns in this set so all right let's find out if if my if i'm correct then there should this should be a green code card um and then we would find out if this is, uh, if Pokemon decided to randomize a few things up. So here we go. Cutifly, Dynamo, Duskull, Inke. Whoops, too excited there. Stuff. I love it. Look at this Stuffle. Like, you know, we see Beware being such a weird little angry beast and Stuffle too, sort of, sometimes. But this is nice. This is nice. Uh, unless those are all Whimsicots and Stuffle is just, uh, destroying them. Happily. Anyway, Sophocles. Oh, I missed the Electabuzz. This is the first Electabuzz I think I've, I've pulled all box. Uncommon Electabuzz indeed. Pikachu Reverse Hollow and the rare is a Tangrowth. This epic Tangrowth. Look at this Tangrowth. Don't mess with the Tangrowth, everybody, because you get tangled up. Tapu Fini on the artwork of this next pack. Booster boxes upon booster boxes upon booster boxes. Now, I wish I could, uh, I was fortunate enough to be able to buy a case. That is not the case, haha, uh, at least right now. But eventually, I hope to grow to the point where I can get cases and uh, open things up. Perhaps not as quickly as uh, someone like Dirium. Um, but, you know, keep things at the Gunning Gallade's pace. Um, but a lot of respect to Dirium. 
Tangrowth, Reverse Hollow Rare, and the Rare. Ooh, Ladian, non hollow Don't even have this one yet, so I'm going to put that aside. Very cool. But yeah, um, Dirium is a remarkable page, and I'm sure you all follow Dirium's Pokemon because, I mean, they have a store, and I saw that video of the pre-release that they, that they held a few weeks ago for the Burning Shadow set, and it looks like there were a lot of happy faces, <clears throat> and I appreciate and respect that a lot. I think Pokemon should be a space where... Everyone can be happy from one common thing, so let's keep up the good work. Well done, Dirium's. All right, Horsey, Cutifly, Wishful Baton, Soul Rock, Simipur, Reverse Hall's a Palisand, and that's a rare Reverse Hall. I think this is actually a pretty solid card. Uh, Sand Tomb, the defending Pokemon can retreat during your opponent's next turn. Dust Storm, discard all cards from both active Pokemon. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. That might be a little challenging, but it could do a decent amount of damage at some point in the game. Uh, perhaps early on when, you're, when your opponent's still trying to set up. So, yeah, so let's carry on. Marsh Shadow on the artwork here. Don't have a Marsh Shadow GX yet. I'd be pretty happy about that. Um, I mean, honestly, there's so many remarkable artworks in this set that I'm just like, I don't even know which one is going to make me jingle my jangle, so to speak. So, all right, here we go. Noibat. Dewpiter, Tangela, Rhyhorn, Riolu, Cedra, Plumeria, Lunatone, Reverse Halls of Beware. Look at that, just having a little wave of the hands. And the rare is <gasps> Lycanroc Hollow. Don't even have this. The Midnight Form Lycanroc. Now let's see what it does. Dangerous Claws. If your opponent's active Pokemon is a basic Pokemon, this attack does 30 more damage. Corner, this defending Pokemon can retreat during your opponent's next turn. You know what? This might be a good card to use early on in the game to set up, and it caused some havoc for your opponent. Okay, very cool. All right, next up we have ho -Oh on the artwork. How nice would it be to pull the full art version of this? It would be very nice. Thank you very much. All right, so next card, or next pack rather, we have... Okay. Noibat. Stuffle. Mudbray. Tynamo. Oddish. Escape Rope. Wick. Mount Lanakila, Reverse Hollow, is an Electabuzz. Look at that, the second Electabuzz so far. And the rare is a Heracross, and that is a non hollow. I think I've only pulled one hollow so far from this half of the box. That's all right. I have uh, a Darkrai GX and a Muck GX to add to my, to my squad. If there's anything I'd like to at least have from this set, it's going to be the, the Ultra Rares. Uh, it's always really hard to get the hyper rares <clears throat> and the full art trainers. I'd be, well, the Guzma I got is great. Yes, Ralts. Awesome. Yeah. Electabuzz. Super Scoop Up. Uh, Rotom Dex. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. And the rare, ah, Meowstic. That's cool. But yes. Mm. Is it, can I say that's like a gem mint? I'm going to get this graded. I want this hanging on my wall. I want the, this This deserves to be in a special place, so routes, I'm going to be very careful about this. Oh my gosh, I'm not doing too good though. Mm, is it still okay? Yeah, it's okay. Is that alright? Yeah, let's take a good look there, focus. I don't want any trouble, oh my gosh, is that actually damaged? I will be so sad. <gasps> no, I won't get a gem mint. But I will, I promise you this. I'm going to get a Routes that's a PSA 10 because Routes is, Routes is Bay. okay? I definitely love me Routes. All right, at least in this set because the artwork is kind of amazing, so. And I'm not just doing that to rep myself, but yeah, I know how it rolls. All right, next pack. Hopefully I can get another Reverse Hollow Routes because that would be uh, pretty sweet indeed. Okay, so we have a Charmander. Meryl, Pansage, Esper, haven't seen the Kingdra Hollow or Reverse Hollow, really like that work too. Simisage, Electric, Buffalant, Reverse Hollow is a Bruxish, and that's a rare Reverse Hollow, and the rare is nice. It's a, it's a Darkrai Hollow Rare. Okay, I like that. Appreciate it. I'm going to put this in a sleeve because I do that with my Hollows. And my ultra rares. And actually, I do that with my rare reverse hollows too, but I didn't do that for the Lycanroc, so 
Let me fix that quickly. Midnight Form Lycanroc making another appearance in this video. Okay, so second hollow, and we shall carry on. Gonna organize myself once again. <clears throat> Marshadow on the next artwork. I wonder how many boxes I'm gonna get, and why don't you let me know what pulls you've had so far since Burning Shadows has been officially released, and maybe there's uh, something good to come of it. If there's anything I will recommend to all of you, if you want to buy a loose booster packs, choose the top two, the top four from each side uh, when you choose your, if you actually open a fresh, fresh box. <clears throat> get the top two, because I think that... Uh, you're almost, I mean, don't take my word from it, but from what I've seen, it seems like you have a pretty high chance of getting something good, like this Panzer reaching for this vine. And the rare, <gasps> it's a Persian, actually a nice Persian. I like cats. Cats are kind of cute. You know, like, they're not loving like dogs, but they kind of are adorable. I mean, if you have a nice cat, I've seen some pretty, like, not nice cats, and they're not really nice to be around. I mean, like, I mean, everything should like to cuddle, but some cats are like, no, excuse me, what are you doing? All right, Morlo. So if you have a cat, I hope you have a nice cat. Uh, Rhyhorn, Sandy Gas with the sun beaming through it. Uh, Metapod, Dusclops, Noctowl, very cool. Lunatone is the uncommon reverse hall and the rare. <gasps> dun, 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 dun. It's Toxicroak fighting Gardevoir once again. The Battle of the Ages. Who would win, Toxicroak or Gardevoir? You know, it's a wicked, wicked matchup because Toxicroak is really weak to Psychic. It's actually times four weak to Psychic because it's a fighting slash poison type. And Gardevoir is a fairy slash um, fairy slash Psychic type. So technically, Gardevoir can one shot Toxicroak, but Toxicroak can cause a lot of damage because it's a poison type. So, huh. All right, so Suck, Oddish, Mount Lanakila. I need to play the game a little more. I just met Sophocles and beat his trial. Uh, Acerola is the rare, or sorry, Uncommon vs. Hall Trainer, and a Turtonator. Don't have a Turtonator yet. The uh, Turtonator is quite a um, fan favorite, it seems like, because they made they, it's made a few appearances. It was a GX card in the last set, also a rare, and it's also a rare in this set. So Turtonator, and it was also a promo, so... <clears throat> Gotta love a Turtonator. I mean, its name is Turtonator, for crying out loud. I think that automatically means that it's going to be more epic than everything ever. Turtonator. Turtonator in my dreams. So, next up, we have another pack. Magikarp. Krogunk. Pikachu. Panseer. Charmander, Charmeleon, following itself there. That'd be kind of cool. Porygon, and nice to see a Hollow Charizard. I haven't seen a Hollow Charizard. <gasps> Diancy by Tokia. Nice. Diancy Hollow Rare. Very nice. What does it do? Sparkling Wish, search your deck for a card that evolves from one of your Pokemon. Put that Pokemon to evolve it. Then shuffle your deck. Very good. I'd use this as a basic Pokemon off the bat. And then Diamond Storm. Um, heal 30 damage from each of your fairy types. So that's very good. Very good indeed. Diancy gonna make its way into the sleeve. Yay! Next up, we have a few more packs to go. Hopefully there's another GX hiding, maybe a Rainbow Rare. I'd be happy with that, without a doubt. Uh, here you go. Marshadow. Alright, Marshadow. Bring it! Only five Ralts. Can you believe it? That is preposterous. Only five Ralts in this box. <clears throat> I'm actually a little disappointed in that. But you know what? I'd rather Ralts be kind of like the the rare common card, you know, because it's special. All right, Mudbray, Tynamo, Oddish, Duskull, Buffalant, Escape Rope, Wick. Reverse Hollow is a Wick, and the rare is. <gasps> Beware. Beware of the beware. All right, we got uh, four more packs to go. And still, I mean, we got one of each. I think there should be at least one or two more GXs left to roll in here. Let's hope that there's a Rainbow Rare with my name on it, kind of, figuratively speaking. All right, so here we go. 
Krogunk, Panseer, Magikarp. I've got a feeling that there's something here. <clears throat> Haven't seen anything though. Um, holding, well, cross your fingers, everybody. Cross your fingers that there's something good here, lady. And is the rare reverse hollow on the rare? <gasps> it is a thing. It's a Pumeria. Full art trainer supporter card. Yes. That is awesome. Uh, that is definitely a good thing indeed. So Plumeria shows herself and is added to my collection alongside Guzma, the Guzma, uh, Guzma full art that I pulled recently. Awesome. Love it. Love it. Three more packs to go. Is there something else that I should be aware of? I've got a feeling with this trend, though, that we are been, we've been trying to observe. Uh, perhaps this, uh, this, car, this, excuse me, perhaps this pack will have a, uh, at least a hollow because it seems like it's doubling up. But like I said, if you're going to be buying single packs and you're at a store and they, they kind of just freshly crack it, get the top two packs, I'd recommend. So just a little side note, I'm going to try it too. And maybe I'll be right, maybe I'll be wrong, but hopefully... You know, I found a way to get something good. Rhyperior is the rare reverse hollow. Very nice. And the rare here is a Raquanid. So no rare or no hyper rare in this part here. That's okay, though. Two more packs to go. Necrozma and Marshadow. Let's see if there's anything else left. I'm wondering, uh, actually, I haven't seen any tins be released recently, so... Maybe there uh, might be something nice popping up soon. Porygon. Panpor. Pansage. Esper. We're going to have a very busy Christmas, though, that's for sure. Or at least holiday season at the end of the year. Lana. Or Lana. I'm going to definitely put that aside. So Viper. Metapod. Reverse Hollow. Uncommon. And the rare. <gasps> Crabominable. The last pre-release card that I need. I don't have the pre-release of Crabominable, but the artwork here is just intense. It really is very intimidating indeed. But as I was saying, uh, we're going to have Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon be released. And then we're going to have Crimson, Crimson, Crimson. We're going to have a new set, um, which I'm very sorry that I don't recall the name. It's called Crimson something. And then we're going to have, of course, Shining Legends that will be released every month, similar to... Uh, similar to Generations, but it's kind of unfortunate because you can't buy a whole booster box and it makes the whole set very exclusive and elusive. Simisir, Metapod, oops, to show the Reverse Hollow somewhat, Dusclops, and then we have an Electric Reverse Hollow, and that's an uncommon. And the last card of this opening is Shinotic. Shinotic, uh, rare Reverse, oh, sorry, non hollow. So, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Now, let's see if there are any patterns in the code cards from this side of the box. Um, so, we had, well, right off the bat, two. You see, just like the other one, two, two of these ones, then three, and then one. Oh, my goodness. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, hold on. Hold on a second. So I did reveal a few code cards from the other, um, the first half of this box opening. So, uh, so I had, so we had it like this. So from the first 18, we had two. Oh, this is not working out too well because I had two from the other one. And I think I, because I gave away some of the code cards, it didn't work out too well. So this ain't going to work out too well at this moment in time. But I think there's a pattern. If there's one thing I at least noticed, it was definitely that the first two um, were the white code cards, which means you're guaranteed to get at least a hollow. So I'm going to give away a few code cards right off the bat here for you. If you want to get more code cards and things like that, don't hesitate to check out the Gunning Gallade on Instagram because I have more stuff coming at you there. So here you go. I hope you get some pulls. Don't hesitate to leave a comment below and uh, reveal whether or not you got something good. From this half of the box, though, I ended up only pulling three hollows. So that was the Diancie here. Lycanroc. Darkrai. Alolan Muck. Darkrai. 
And then the full art plumeria, so that was uh, definitely quite decent. And then, of course, uh, yeah, so not too bad, not too bad at all. <clears throat> I don't think there's a pattern. I think Pokemon randomized it. But uh, to summarize everything, I mean, I think my favorite pull of this whole, whole entire box. Um, actually, I want to be curious to find out what the pull ratios are. I'm sure you all are very intrigued by that as well. So just give me a quick second. So from this box I opened, so I had one hollow, so one dark ride, two, three, four, five, six, so six hollows. Then I had one, two, three, Alolan Muck, so four regular GX cards, and then I had a full art a Lycan Rock, and then one full art trainer, and then the Rainbow Rare Alolan Muck. So intriguing stuff. As we all know, it's all kind of randomized, but um, maybe I'll get another box. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is the Gunning Gallade signing out, and stay tuned for more stuff coming at you as the weeks roll out. Of course, I pulled four non hollow Ralts, and then I got this one reverse hollow. So. Thank you all for watching and stay tuned for more coming at you as the week rolls out or the weekend for that matter. Bye for now.